Hey everybody, as you can tell I'm feeling a little bit better. I thought I would show you some of the books that I might be reading next month. Of course, I'm just saying might. I'm not doing an actual, you know, this is a strict book, you know, strict lift of what I'm going to be reading. And there's pro and there's some more that that I'm going to be reading that I don't, that I didn't grab. That I definitely have to read. Like, um, the th uh, Conjuring of Light, which is the third one in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. But I'm still currently reading the second one. I want to, um, finish uh, The Magician by Lisa Maxwell. And there was another one, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. And I'm still trying to finish Harry, the first Harry Potter, which I'm almost done with. I'm a little bit over a halfway done with Shadow and Bones by Lee Bordeaux. Bordeaux, however you say your last name. Um, let's see. I just got done reading um, Wild Card, which I'll talk about in wrap-ups. i just been in, like, in a really big reading slump. So that's why I grabbed so many. That way, you know, I have more to choose from. So, yeah. As you can see, you see my beautiful bracelet. When we went camping, my one of my brother-in-laws, he does this. He makes these type of bracelets. And then he has different symbols that you can put on the bracelet. Like you can see the owl. Um, let's see. There's an owl. There's a, um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I could take it off and show you guys better. But I don't know if you can see. There's the snake. There's a cowboy at with his with his horse at a grave or a tombstone. There's a dragon, which is one of my favorite things, so I had to get a dragon on there and there's an owl. But yeah, and you could do whatever color you want, which I did green, as you could tell. So yeah, it was we had a good time camping. But this is just going to be just a, like a chatty video. Just talk about books that I might be reading. Yeah, just whatever else pops into my brain. I started um, Sadie. I'll talk about the three that I've been reading. Even though the last, the other two that I'm going to talk about, I haven't read lately. But um, you know, on page 94 in Sadie, which is pretty good. So far, there's other books that, like I said, I might be reading. I just didn't grab them all right now. I'll do because I might be participating in some of the readathon. So some of the books, even some of these books, you'll probably see again. But I just wanted to grab, just talk about it a little bit. So far, this is pretty interesting. I don't know if I'm going to like it as much as everybody else, but we shall see. It does... Um, interests me. I like um, when it goes to Sadie to find out what's going on with her. It's just really interesting. I just don't know, like, you know, I don't know. It's it's good, though. I mean, she keeps me entertained. I mean, her, her chapters keep me interested. I shouldn't say entertained because they're pretty serious chapters of hers, but I think I like, actually, her part better than the, um, what is it called, podcast? Even though I do like the guy, what I forget what his name is, the podcast guy, um, West, West, I do like West. I am bound and determined to read, finish Diviners. I'm on page 276. I haven't read this in like probably two or three months, something like that. But I definitely want to finish it in October because spooky, hello, you know. Definitely a Halloween's creepy book. So, I definitely want to read that. I'm really, really enjoying it right now. It is very creepy, though. And I heard it gets creepier and creepier as the book goes on. And I still got a while to go. I'm only on page, what did I say? I'm on page 276. And there's, let's see, let me see if I can find it. Here are, well, those are character or whatever you're going to call those things. Discussion guides, author's notes, 
here we go, um, 578 pages, and I'm on 277, so we shall see what happens, but I'm really enjoying it a lot, very creepy, so yeah, there's that, and I'm also reading The Hazelwood, I'm gonna, I might finish, these three that I'm talking about right now, I'm probably gonna save towards the end of October, so, so if we got, if I got time, because some of these other ones I really wanted to read more, but I'm on 190 in the Hazelwood. There's 355, I think. Yeah, 355, I believe, pages. So, and so far it's okay. I think I like the um, the stories that are told throughout the book more than actually the book itself, than this story. And I heard that, I think they said that they're going to be, like, doing a book with just the stories, which is, looks, in, which I definitely want. So these are, the next pile is ones I definitely want to read. And you guys have probably seen all these in my other videos, but just a refreshment. Never World Wake. Definitely want to read that. I was going to be stuck here forever, here in the never world, where I'd never grow old, never have a family, never fall in love. I was a ticking clock in a timeless world. So, yeah, I definitely want to read this one. It's, um, they're like in, like, trapped in between worlds. It's very interesting. Trapped between in two worlds. Between two worlds. Definitely sounds like it would be a good kind of creepy Halloween month read. So I'm definitely going to be reading this one. I got to look at the different, um, cause there's a whole bunch of like readathons going on and stuff. Like they're doing like spookathon and stuff like that. So I'm going to see what will work. Um, book roast is doing like for extra credit for, you know, she does the magical ones, which is, the owls and the newts. Well, so, book roast she's going to be doing. Like I said, extra credit. So, I'm going to look at that and see what will fit into that. I know someone's doing like spook, spookathon or spook tuba or something like that. And things like that. So, I got to see what will fall into different categories. But, I definitely want to read City of Ghost. Definitely. Oh my gosh, I'm so interested in this one and there's only there is only 285 pages so hopefully that will work i've been just so much in a reading slump you guys it's ridiculous so i don't know how much i'm gonna get done next month this one definitely is gonna be creepy for october not even bones by rebecca schaffer some of like that of course, so many people's talked about this on their channels, so I don't really have to say much. But I'll just read this part. It takes a tip. It takes a special type of monster dis to dissect dead people and sell them without guilt. Gritty, compelling, a tale to feed the monsters and all of us. I couldn't put this one down. Ella Blake, New York Times best-selling author of Frostblood. So yeah. That definitely looks interesting. I'm curious to see because, as you guys know, she she helps this one guy escape, and then she winds up having to take his place. So I'm curious on how she um if she gets away from it from the situation, how she gets away from it if she does. It just seems very very interesting. So it's another book I'm planning on reading, and then of course these two go together. Haunted Prince Dracula and Escape from Houdini. I'm going to try to read both of these next month. I know they're pretty big, so we'll see. This one has 400 and, uh, 424 pages. So this one has 424 pages and Escape from Houdini, which is the one that really sounds interesting to me. This one sounds like it's going to be more interesting with the other one but this one has 431 pages 
For some reason, this one seems heftier. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. But actually, this one is the more, it has a little bit more pages. Not much, but yeah. So, I definitely want to try to read these. And they definitely look like they would be good for, for Halloween. With the spooky castle and the spooky ship. So, yeah. They definitely look like they would be really good. Another one, of course, that I want to re try to read is What the Woods Keep. This one looks really, really like a Halloween month book. This one is... The, she inherits her childhood home, childhood home, but she has to... On the condition that she uncovers its dark secrets. Very interesting. It says, to my daughter, Hayden Bollatrix Holland, Holland, on her 18th birthday, I bequest my family estate known as Hollard Manor under three conditions. My first condition is that Hayden looks for the gifts I left her at the manor. My second condition is that Harper uses my gift to destroy my darkest secret. My third condition is that Hayden trusts no one where my, or no one, yeah, trust no one where my treasure is concerned, especially the ravens. So, ravens and books, creepy, creepy, definitely, definitely, definitely something that would be good for, for Halloween month. And this one has 365 pages. And then we got couple more. Well, three more. Two more after this one. And then I'm going to talk about something else. Um, let's see. I got Strange Grace. Which this says, Shadow. Strange Grace is an alluring and seductive fairy tale that asks, Just what would you give for the thing you love? Or give up for the things you love? And what if it isn't enough? You won't want to leave this beautiful and airy world crap. Grattan has created and this one says horrifying heartbreaking and heartwarming a Irish fair or a lush yeah lush I'm totally I was totally reading that long but lush fairy tale rooted rooted in a moral quandary and then it says once a, once a grace witch made a pack with a devil the story the story says they love each other, but can the story be trusted at all? So that definitely looks interesting, and I just love this cover. It's so pretty. And then, like you guys know, I'm participating in the um, Porter Watch, where you read a Harry Potter book, and then you watch the movie. So then... Of course, we're on the second book, so I'll be reading Chamber of Secrets, which is another good one for Halloween, I think. So I'm really excited because, like I was telling you, the only one I've ever reread was the first one. And that was, I reread it a couple of times. So the, the other ones, it's going to be like I'm reading it for the first time. So I'm super excited to get back into the world and finish all of them to, re to see if I liked them as much as I did when I was younger. I was still a lot older than you guys when it came out. I was like in my 20s when these came out. I think I was in my mid to upper 20s. Might have been even older. I'm not really sure. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I know I was in my 20s. So yeah. Even though I've watched the movies since then, I have never reread the books. So besides, like I said, the first one. I got my, I already got a bookmark set. I got open at the close, which is only fitting. Actually, each of the Harry Potter books, I put a um, a bookmark in already for each month that I do it. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to rereading this. Because this one was, like, my least favorite, this one, and the fourth one. And I know a lot of people love the fourth one, which... Right now, my brain can't remember what it is. 
But yeah, I don't. I was never a big fan of the fourth book. I think it's because, spoiler alert, the way Harry is treated throughout the book by people that are supposed to be his friends, that are his friends, but act like, you know. So that kind of gets me upset. I think that's maybe why I don't like the fourth book that much. But I remember that it had a lot of interest parts. I actually liked the fifth book better than the movie. I didn't really care for the fifth movie. The sixth and seventh book, I remember loving, but it's been so long. And I know six and seven really goes into all the interesting details and more about Snape's and why he's the way he acts. So I really like those. But I like how it says, Harry must not go back to Hogwarts Dobby. Or Dobby Dobby, how you say his name. And I'm currently reading this one. I'm the first one right now, but I'm almost done. I like have like a hundred pages left in the next one. So I should have it done before the end of the end of the month. And then I got a graphic novel here. So I'm gonna be reading that. It says and this thing is so light it's hard to read. It says Everyone faces uncertainty at some point in their lives. Even a brilliant surgeon like Kinzo Tinma is no exception. But there's no way for him to know that his decision to stop chasing professional successful professional success and instead concentrate on his oath to save people people's lives will result in the birth of an, 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 an abomination the question of good and evil now takes on a terrifying real dimension years later in germany during the trembling trembulous trembulous how you say that post reunification period middle-aged childless couples are being killed one after another the serial killer's identity is known the reason why he kills or not Dr. Tima sets out on a journey to find the killer's twin sister who may hold some clues to solving the injuma, injuma, how do we say that word, of the monster. So yeah, definitely looks like it's going to be a really good um, Halloween manga. And now I'm going to show you some of the books I got from the library. It's in my bag. <laughs> Some two of them I renewed because I didn't get a chance to re um to read them. So I got this one, which is Attack on the Tit on Titans. Heard people talk about. It. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I just know people talk about it. But anyways thought this would be an interesting one. So I might get to it, you know, during during the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, if not, I can re, um, re, um, you know, like, recheck them out. This one is Circa de Freak, or how do you say it? The World of International Claimed Author... Darren Shan's Cirque, Cirque, Cirque de Freak, how do you say it, brought to life as you've never seen it before. Darren Sean, or Shane, was an average kid until Des Destiny brought him to the Cirque de Freak. Now Darren's been immersed into a shadowy world inhabited by vampires, werewolves, and strange creatures the likes of which he's never imagined, and his life will be changed forever. That's definitely an interesting one. So there's that. And then I had to get this one because everybody always talks about this series, and I haven't started it yet, so I am bound and determined to start it. The Raven Boys? I know. Don't be upset with me, you guys. I know. It's like everybody's, like... Everybody loves the series. And I really, really hope 
I'm going to be on the people that like the series because it looks really interesting. But yes, I had to finally try to read this series. So I got the first one. I am so, 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 so hoping I like it. And I thought this would be a good book. So these are going to be like my my first um, reads. Because some of these I should be able to um, recheck out. I'm sure I'll be able to recheck this out in these two. As long as no one's in. Because they're, they weren't in the new section. And usually they let you. If it's not a new release. They usually let you um, check it out. Like two or three times before you have to give it back. So I'm hoping. This one. I gotta definitely get to. Because. It was on the uh, in that shelf where a lot of times you only can renew it, read it once, and then you have to wait and get back online. And that's the Price Guide to the Occult. I've never read a book by her before, but does that look creepy or what? And if I start liking it and I don't get a chance to um, finish it before it has to go back, then I will definitely buy a copy. But I'm at least going to try to read some of it before it has to go back. And then the next two are ones that I rechecked out. I rechecked out the power. I'm hoping I can get to it, but I don't know if I don't get to it this time. I'm just going to send it back and maybe just buy the book. But I'm really excited about this one because it's like the women are in power. So that sounds like it would be so very interesting. And the last one. is Zenith. Of course, I showed that last month, like I said, during my my haul. And I'm hoping I could get to this, but if not, I'm not going to cry about it. I'll get to it eventually. But if I don't get it to it now, then I'm just going to turn it back in and start, you know, start something else. I mean, you know, get more books from the library. But yeah, those are some books I want to try to read next month. You can know I'm putting them back all up here. But I have so many other books that I haven't even mentioned. Like like I said, I got to read The Conjuring of Lights, which is the third one. But first I got to finish the second one. I Gather in the Shadows. I still got to read The Magician. I'm trying to think if there's another one up there that I'm not mentioning. There's a couple other ones that if I get a chance I want to read. But I'm not going to worry too much. And they might be in my, like I said... And other, some of these other ones, some that you see now, you'll probably see in some of my TBRs if I decide to join in any, any um, of the read-alongs or read-a-thons, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, Friday, I'm supposed to be getting my, I forget what it's called, but it's um, from Book Gizmo. They had like a, they had their Halloween one. And, and it actually shipped early, so I'll be getting that supposedly on Friday. I'm, I'm going to be ordering some other books that I want to read. I do have a, a couple of audio books. I got um, The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein that I just got. And I can't remember what the other audio one was I got, but I got another audio. There was like two audio books that I pre-ordered that came in. I mean, that came, yeah, that were you know, that were uh, released on Tuesday. And like I said, one of them was the, the, the Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. But um, I'm thinking that might be in um, Once Upon a Book Club. And if they have any left tomorrow when I get paid, I'm going to buy that. And so I don't want to buy the actual book until I know for sure if that's the book is going to be in Once Upon a Book Club. Because... I really want that one, and I want to get Once Upon a Book Club, because I haven't done that for a while. I've only done that once, and I got it once for my daughter. So I want to get that box again, so I'm probably going to do that next month. So next month, you guys can, you guys thought I did a lot of unboxings this month. I got a lot next month. Cause like I said, I got, I'll have my, um, my owl crate. I will have my, um, what's it called, uh, Kingdom of Ash, um, 
special box that I got him from Enchanted Fandom. What else? Uh, I'll have Sparecraft. Um, the Gizmo one, the book Gizmo's coming this month, so don't worry about that. I'm probably going to have Lit Crate Joy. Uh, I'm thinking about Beacon, I mean Sparecraft. I'm thinking they have the same, that they're having the same um, book as Lit Joy. So what I might do is, like I have been for Sparecraft, I've been just getting the goodies and not the books, not the book. So that's probably what I'm going to do and then get the book and the goodies, both from Lit Joy. So that's like five, I, meant, I think I mentioned. I got um, Shelf Love Crate or something like that, which is going to be my first time ever getting. I have Fae Crate. So I'm at least going to have six or seven unboxings next month. And then after that, I'm not going to have that many because Christmas. So I won't be able to spend that much money, but I'm getting Fae Crate. I already paid for that for November, so I'm at least going to have Fae Crate. And I'll probably at least have, I'll have Beacon because I get Beacon. I'll probably at least have three or four still in November. So, so I'm not going to be like not having unboxings at all. I'm just not going to have as many after October. So, I just want to let you guys know for the next few months what's going on. <coughs> I'm still a little sick, so. But, yeah. That's about all that's going on with me. Nothing else is really, you know, like, going on. So, I'm hoping that I can at least finish um, Shadow and Bones. Um, the, sec the first Harry Potter, of course, and A Gathering of Shadows. I'm hoping I can finish those three before Sunday ends. So, I probably am not going to do my um, September wrap-up until actually October. Like the first or second day. Uh, probably maybe the third day of October because Monday we got an appointment with um, some people for my daughter. It's going to help her find a job. And Tuesday, I go to the doctor for my arm and for a checkup because I've just had been so not feeling very well lately. So really under the weather. So hopefully the doctor will find out what's wrong with me. And um, <clears throat> so those two days, I'm probably going to be busy. So I might not do my wrap up until Wednesday, next Wednesday. So. But I am, like, in a major, major reading slump. So, like I said, I only finished three books. I know I finished Wild Card, Kiss of Deception, which I don't have anymore because, of course, I rented it from the library. So, when I do that one, I'll just... I think I have the uh, the ebook though, of the whole series. So, if I do, then if I remember when I do my wrap-up, I'll just get my Kindle out and... And show show it on that, through that. But I can't remember what the f other book I read. Because I know there was three books I read this month so far. Which ain't good for me. Because usually I'm like, I've read like 10 to 12 books already. But I just, like I said, I haven't been like, my feeling like my normal self. As you can tell, I'm, as you can hear it in my voice. And how it was acting the last couple of days with the unboxings. So hopefully, like I said, when I go to the doctor, they'll find out everything that's wrong with me so but I'm feeling a little bit better today at least on my <coughs> excuse me on my shoulder I think I might have a little bit of a cold in my shoulder too because I feel like I'm catching a cold I think that some of the cold is just like like going into my shoulder and I think I got arthritis and everything else I'm getting old you guys I'm 48 so <laughs> uh, my husband thinks that Maybe my bones, or whatever you want to call it, in my arm, or whatever you want to call it, in my arm, are starting to break down. So, who knows? Hopefully it's nothing serious. But, I'll let you guys know what the doctor says. If he says anything. <laughs> After my checkup on Tuesday. But, yeah. Um, I think that's it. This video's over 30 minutes. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys um, 
if you guys I hope that if you guys do like the video and you haven't subscribed that you subscribe and if you do subscribe remember to push the bell icon for you'll know whenever you'll get notified right away when a video of mine is posted uh, what else and that's it uh, I might do a review of wild card after I do my wrap up next week and maybe a couple other books I probably won't do a re recap of or a review of Shadow and Bones because I've read that before so I basically know what I'm going to think about it so yeah I will give you an update on if I like um, the Darkland better this time around because I know so many people love the Darkland and I am not one of them so yeah I'm going to let you guys go and remember what I said. If you guys like the video, please thumbs up. Um, comment down below with some books that you might be reading for uh, the spooky October month. It's going to be a beautiful month. The, the, tree, the leaves are going to start falling. It's going to start getting a little bit cooler. So maybe sometime, if I'm feeling better, I'll be outside reading and doing some of my videos out there. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. And like I said, just comment down below if you guys want on what you guys, some of the books you guys are planning on reading next month. And I will talk to you guys all later. I probably won't do another video until Friday when my uh, book gizmo package comes. And hopefully I'm feeling much 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 better by then since I'm feeling a little bit better today but I'm gonna let you guys go see I don't know if you guys heard that but even my arms like crack all the time that's why my husband's so worried because it because they crack like you can hear them a lot like crack and not just once in a while I mean they really really crack like really bad so he's worried about the cracking in the arm so I don't know but we shall see when I get the checkup I will talk to you guys all later have a good day. Bye.